Hello, this is CJ Hoyle. Today is Wednesday, August the 4th, 2021, and I'm here at Hanlon's Point on the Toronto Islands, and I have here with me fellow Toronto YouTuber, Johnny Strides, and in this video, we're gonna be giving a narrated tour together, collaborating here on the Toronto Islands. All right, so starting from here on Hanlon's Point, we're gonna make our way over towards the other side of the island. And before we really get too far away from here, I just wanted to point out there's a plaque over here that commemorates Babe Ruth's first ever home run as a professional baseball player. Wasn't that the old Maple Leaf Stadium, they called it? They did, and do you know what the name of the team was that played there? The Maple Leafs? That's right. Not to be confused with the inter-county Maple Leafs, right? Where is that the same team, the same lineage? I'm, I don't know that history myself. All right. And at this end of the island, there also used to be a big amusement park as well. And both of those things got taken away when they decided to make an airport there. So this is my first time being on the island in more than a year. How about you? I honestly haven't been here for about three years now. Wow. I don't think I'm as familiar with it as you are. So I'm looking forward to learning a few things. It's one of my favorite places in the city, which is kind of surprising that it's been more than a year since I've been here. So Johnny, tell the tell my viewers about kind of what you do on your channel. Obviously, Johnny strides. That's striding is walking, but you don't just do walking, right? Yep, that's correct. I do the walking videos, but I also do cycling videos. I try to do about one of those a week. And lately, I've got an electric scooter, so I try to do an electric scooter video every week or so. And I also do live streams. So, oh, and those are so cool doing everything that we're doing right now, but with a live audience, leaving you comments and you're reading them and you're responding to them. And, and since we're here, I'm gonna do a little scouting and check how fast the signal is. Oh yeah. Because if it works, I'll definitely come back here and do another live stream from around here. Well, I said another, but a first <laughs> live stream from around here. Right, for sure. So this is kind of good. I get to scout the area. And you also sometimes do videos in, within transit, like you're looking out the window of a streetcar or a bus or something? Yep, I do bus rides. Uh, I really like exploring the subway stations. That's my favorite part of doing the transit videos, but I'll do streetcar rides, subway rides. I did one in the Montreal Metro system recently. I found that rather interesting. but not quite the variety of videos that you do. Not a... <laughs> well, you're a little bit more focused on your, your subject. Um, you do excellent narration in your videos as well, uh, which is something I've always appreciated about your videos, as well as your very amazing knowledge of Toronto things and history. And it seems like almost everything you walk past or ride past, you can tell some story about or give some anecdote. Well, I won't lie, I've watched a few of your videos and learned a few things. <laughs> Likewise. Such as you once did a ride through Long Branch along Lakeshore, and about four or five months later, I went and did that same route. Oh, right a lot on. of things I learned in your video were popping up in my head, so sorry for a little bit of plagiarism. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I once, uh, I remember a while ago I did University Avenue got bike lanes and I made a video kind of a year before and I went back to, to show it after I got the bike lanes and I ended up having that, whole, I watched the video back to like compare it before I went and did it and I ended up giving like all the same facts the second time. So it tends to happen. Well, I, for me, that constantly happens. If I do a route like Young Street or Bloor Street, something that you just do fairly often when you make walking videos, that's true, and you, you, you do, you're a full-time YouTuber, you do a video pretty much every day, right? Every morning at 8 a.m., I try to have something published. 
plus about two or three live streams a week. And on my other channel, I try to have a few videos up every week. So it's, there's definitely some overlap <laughs> in terms of, well, you, I mean, you, you, you do end up visiting the same places multiple times, but you still manage to keep it interesting. I try to capture them at different times of day, different seasons, different weather conditions, holidays. So there are ways to vary it up. And we're so fortunate to live in such a big, diverse city with so many neighborhoods and interesting areas to explore. Especially for channels like ours, we always have content to make. Yeah, that's very true. So we decided to take the road uh, on Toronto Islands here that's kind of uh, more towards the city side. There's another road that runs parallel to this that goes a little bit more closer to the outside of the water. Uh, if we had taken that one, we would have seen some of the signs for the clothing optional beach that's here at Hanlon's Point, which is kind of a unique feature of Toronto. This part of the island that we're getting close to is called Gibraltar Point. And there's actually a very old lighthouse here, built in 1809. And wasn't the first lighthouse keeper there murdered? That's true, and they never really solved his murder either. And they say that the lighthouse is haunted by his ghost more than 200 years later. There's another really old lighthouse on the southwest, southwest end of Tommy Thompson Park as well. I wonder which one came first. I'm not familiar with Southwest, so at the, uh, like near the, the, the foot of it? Yeah, I might be off on my directions, but. Okay. See, when I'm doing a walking video, I have the luxury of pulling out my phone <laughs> without <laughs> the audience realizing it. And one hand looking up some facts on the spot. Sure, yeah. Enjoy the beach safely. So this part of the roadway, since the last time that I was here and made a video, they've raised this up quite a bit. And that's because in the summers of 2017 and 2019, the Lake, Lake Ontario water levels were way higher than usual. And this road here was actually underwater. I remember coming and riding my bike here during that time. And you know, it was about a foot of water between the layer of asphalt and where my tires were on the bike. Let's just uh, swing the bikes over a little bit to the left here so we can see the old lighthouse. There's a really old bus too. Mm-hmm, it's an old transit bus. So there you can see the Gibraltar Point Lighthouse built in the years 1808 and 1809. And this building here, straight ahead, is um, an art uh, stu studio space um, managed by an uh, organization called Artscape. So artists have their studios over here. And the building itself used to be the Toronto Island Public School at one point. And it fell into such disrepair that they decided to build a new one, but this not-for-profit organization, I guess, uh, wanted to take over the building and that's what they've done and it's now a studio space for the artists. And over on the left we're going past the island water treatment plant which is processes water not just for the facilities here on the island but for a good chunk of Toronto. I'm pretty sure most of my drinking water comes from that water treatment plant. It serves most of the downtown, I think. I was just at the R.C. Harris plant the other day, and they do 30% of the water for the city there. So I wouldn't be surprised if the lion's share was done at this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what other ones there, there are. Yeah, there's a beach over there at Gibraltar Point. Quite a few beaches along the island. There's the one back at Hanlon's Point that we mentioned earlier. There's a clothing optional area, but there is also a clothing required area if you're not into that sort of thing. It is optional too, even if you <laughs> go in the clothing optional area, you don't have to take off your clothes. 
that's an option. Is there not some disc golf coming up at some point? Yeah, it's kind of on the other side of the center part of Center Island. But yeah, we'll, we'll certainly, actually we'll be seeing that in the video that we're gonna be making after this, which will actually be over on your channel, Johnny. Where I will be relying heavily on you for information about the island. <laughs> So let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's go to the left, actually, sorry. All right, Island Public and Natural Science School. So this is where the building that replaced that older one that we went past. And this is a school that has two purposes. It's for the students that live here on Toronto Islands. There are probably about 600 or so people that make Toronto Islands their, their permanent home. And of course, some of those 600 are children who are school age. So kids who are up to grade six will come to school here at the public school here. And they also have an outdoor education program here. So the sort of thing where, you know, kids in, you know, a certain, or turning to the right here, that's a dead end. Um, well, you know, come and sort of do an overnight, uh, sort of a couple days with their class you know, sleep in a, a bunk bed and whatnot and get to learn about nature. And what a better place than, than here for that. So over on the left from here, maybe I'll just kind of point the camera over through this gap, uh, hard to see, but basically straight ahead from there, there's another island which is called Forestry Island. And we're filming this on at about 6.30 or so on a Wednesday afternoon. So things are relatively quiet, but I bet if we were to have come here back on the long weekend a couple of days ago, it would have been a different story. That's a stunning view. It really is. It's, it's so neat seeing the, you know, the natural landscape of the island with the backdrop of the skyline behind it. And of course the perfectly still water makes it even better. The reflection, yeah. It is my favorite skyline in the world. I know I'm a bit biased, but <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for anything. <laughs> All right, let's just go to the right here. Of course, there's some really massive trees on this island. So over there to the left, you can see, well, we could see momentarily the bridge which goes over to Middle Island from here. But we're just gonna ride over to the pier at Center Island here. And then we'll be coming back to that bridge in a moment. And over here is the spot where people can rent bicycles and quadricycles, four-wheeled contraptions that you can pedal. It's a really nice, really couldn't have gotten more perfect for weather when we were Picking this day a while back, it seemed like there was a possibility of rain today, but certainly no rain and perfectly blue sky. Not too hot. Subtle breeze, it's perfect. Yeah. Just go over to the right here. I'm sure these people are thinking they hit the jackpot too. Oh yeah. Another one of these beaches here on Toronto Island is this one here, which is the center island beach 
Not too long ago, I posted a video where I came here with my kayak. I kayaked a full loop of the Toronto Islands and I paddled right underneath of this pier here. You can see lots of sailboats out on the water. And as far as I know, this pier never actually had any, you know, industrial purpose or anything. It was always just an attraction for, for doing what we're doing right here, right now. This beach has a, a lifeguard watching over it, which most Toronto beaches have, which is a really nice feature. We better talk here so we can not get audio, audio match content from the I don't think we will. stereo there. That was pretty short. Yeah. So this is the big promenade of Center Island. Manitou Road. I think that's what the sign said it was. Yeah, I think at one time. I, I, I think somewhere I've, I've seen this called the island, uh, the avenue of the island. And this avenue essentially leads over towards the bridge which goes to Middle Island, which is where another one of the ferry terminals is. There's three different ferry terminals coming over to the island, Halen's Point, Center Island, and Ward's Island. There's a nice fountain here. But this is the point where this video is gonna end, but it doesn't mean that Johnny and I are gonna stop riding. There's still plenty more island left to see. So if you wanna see the continuation of this, where we head across that bridge over there to Middle Island, Head on over to part two of this video where we'll be watching from that other GoPro mounted on Johnny's chest there. So I hope you enjoyed joining us on this narrated tour. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys.